Hi students, welcome to NIRS education. So in the previous session already we have seen the conservation of uh, the natural resources like the water. And uh, regarding that one, the Indian waterman, the Rajendra Singh was awarded by the Magsese Award in the year of 2001 for his uh, activities uh, which are going to conserve the natural resources especially in uh, the conservation of the water and uh, implementation of the different techniques which are going to save the water. So now let's move towards uh, the concept water pollution. So already we are uh, well known about uh, the pollution of water. How it is going to pollute and what are the things which are going to make the water pollute. So the things which are uh, going to make the water pollution those are called the water pollutants so the water pollution means the change which is undesirable the change which is undesirable so by the by means of physical biological or the chemical qualities of the water so that means uh, the addition of uh, the foreign organic inorganic as well as uh, the biological and uh, radioactive the radioactive substances which are going to mix up with the water and uh, they will change the quality of water so that will become the polluted water so here the definition of water pollution is the undesirable changes that are going to take place in the water by means of physical biological and uh, chemical qualities so the pollution of water is one of the most serious environmental problem throughout the world not only in the particular district or state or the nation so this is a problem which is already spread throughout the world so each and every person is going to be involved in the process of the water pollution because of the undesirable uh, characters are the undesirable uh, quality processes that are going to be done by the human beings or the, the daily activities which are done by the human beings that are going to change the quality of the water. So, the marine water pollution, surface water pollution, or it may be considered as the fresh water so in this one we can see the water pollution is going to be takes place in three different steps so that may be the surface water pollution the underground water pollution and the marine water pollution so whatever the type of uh, the water pollution it is so the main reason for this is the human beings so some pollutions are occurs naturally uh, because of the soil particles enter the water through the soil erosion minerals dissolved in the water from the rocks and uh, soil animal wastes and uh, dead fallen uh, plant products they will uh, they will pollute the water but the mainly the water pollutants are going to be divided into three main categories that is 
the physical water pollutions uh, pollutants chemical water pollutants and uh, biological water pollutants physical water pollutants chemical water pollutants and biological water pollutants so these are the three different types of water pollutants so which are going to cause the undesirable change in the water so whatever the changes are going to take place in the water that are all done by the human beings only but that changes the human beings also don't need so we are that much of unconscious regarding the natural resources so in the physical chemical and the biological water pollutants the sources are totally different that may be the sewage or the industrial wastes or the synthetic soaps and detergents fertilizers and the pesticides the leakage of petroleum oils uh, the joining of the solid particles and uh, the thermal pollution the sources or causes of water pollutions are the sewage industrial wastes synthetic soaps that we are uh, uh, using in our daily life for the cleaning of uh, the clothes as well as uh, we are using the uh, soaps uh, detergents also which have a large quantity of uh, sulfates and uh, chlorides the fertilizers which are uh, very dangerous chemicals which we are going to use in the agricultural purposes pesticides that we will use to kill the <clears throat> uh, unwanted uh, organisms which are growing on the crops and the the leakage of petroleum oils solid particles thermal pollutants so these are all the sources that are going to cause the water pollution so these changes these things if we are going to control in a proper manner so that will maybe solve the water pollution in some quantity because whatever the undesirable changes that are going to takes place in the water either it may be the physical or it may be the biological or maybe it is the chemical so those are all going to be done by the activity of the human beings so if we really uh, work in the regards of the the nature or in the favor of the nature so now uh, we have moved together uh, with a big mission called the swachh bharat abhiyan so in that one we have to uh, get together in the cleaning of the environment and we should not put the unwanted materials uh, wherever we need so we have to make an a proper uh, unwanted management Uh, the proper management of uh, uh, keeping clean the environment uh, and also we should not throw the unwanted materials uh, in the uh, free areas or in the open areas so that will flow into the water bodies and uh, that will cause the harm on the aquatic animals also so that will uh, affect on the food chain also because we are connected with each other uh, if we are thinking ourselves means the human beings are thinking ourselves only means so it is not possible to be alive single on the earth so each and every organism has that right to be alive to get their position in the proper environment so try to be uh, be honest together uh, towards the nature and uh, try to be uh, in a, try to keep uh, 
clean and clear in our surrounding areas so if we, this is uh, regarding uh, the conservation of the water if you have any doubts or questions regarding this one you can send the message to my whatsapp number thank you and have a nice day